Hey, welcome to Anchored. We finished up our Synod series, and before we jump into the book of Acts again, we took an opportunity last week to reflect on why it's important as followers of Jesus to actively wrestle with the things our culture and the church at large are warring over. And the context for this is the Let's Talk About Race seminar happening this coming Saturday. But race isn't the only topic and the only conversation that fits into this hard topic category. Gender and sexuality would fit in there as well. And we'd like to have that conversation as a church in the near future. But why is this important? Why is it important that we talk about these things? I mean, we've all heard the wisdom that says, don't talk about politics at Thanksgiving. And many of us have experienced why that wisdom exists. And so you might be asking, why wouldn't we apply that same wisdom in the church for hard topics since the church is where we want to strive for unity and love for each other? That's a good question. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm going to guess that the truism came into existence because people were unable to have friendly civil discourse. So it was better to avoid hard stuff completely if it was going to ruin the holiday or cause the family to excommunicate Uncle Fred. I would hope that as the body of Jesus Christ, with the Spirit of Christ dwelling in all of us, that we'd be able to tackle hard topics no matter what they are with humility and patience and love, even when not everyone in the room agrees. And I have a high confidence that here at Bethel, we can do this because we've already done this. We've walked through the Imago Day series in 2021 and the Winsome Conviction Seminar. But again, that gets us back to the why. Why talk about this? As Paul reminded us in last Sunday's message in Romans 12, our ultimate aim is to discern what is the good and the pleasing and the perfect will, not of me or you, but of God. And this is our true or reasonable worship. And Paul said this happens as we pursue the ongoing renewal of the mind, a resistance to being conformed to this age and an active pursuit of Jesus' mind and Jesus' heart. This renewal happens by being fearless learners that allow Jesus and his words to constantly, constantly form us. This is the why. We want Jesus to continue transforming us by the renewal of our minds so we can represent him accurately in every area we find ourselves, both what we believe, but also how we live that out. It's like the song we've been singing as a church, I just want to be like him. Holy Spirit mend me, make me more like Jesus. And so I hope you will join us this coming weekend as we tackle this important and hard topic of race and ask Jesus to make us more like him for his glory. Have a good week.